I have absolutely never known a boiler to make such a peculiar sound. I really don't. I can't figure it out. Here, take a listen to this. I can't figure it out. It started doing it randomly. Um, and then I, I turned the thermostat off. And it stopped, turned it back on, seemed to be okay. Then it started and it started doing it intermittently. Now it just seems to come and go. It's really, really weird. I did text the property manager because obviously my landlady isn't in the country, typical. Um, but yeah, I texted him when I thought that I'd, when it, when it had actually stopped. Um, so yeah, I guess I will just see what happens. some milk and stuff and some other little bits that I needed. Um, heading back home now. Um, had a call from the property manager. Um, he suggested that perhaps my hot water level is too high. Um, you know, the on the uh, on the boiler itself. So we're gonna give that a try, see if that solves it. And I've never known it to do something like that before. And, uh, and obviously he doesn't live up this way, so it's not like he can come check it out really, really soon. <sighs> it's still bloody cold out here. It's dry at least, but it's still bloody cold. Difference in the housing. That's the sort of stuff that I like I live in, which is council made. Those are what are classed as new builds. I've actually been inside one, but not around this area, but another area where they've made the same thing. And they are extremely small inside. I mean, good lord. Uh, each bedroom can fit a double bed, and that's it. Living room, you can't even get a so you can't even get more than a sofa in there. It's ridiculous. Mr. Smokey's new cat carrier. I went with the sort of slightly reddish colour, reddish and grey, and uh, because he wasn't using his thing over on the puffet um, in order to keep him warm, because I couldn't find a decent blanket, so I've put it in there. So that should keep him warm when travelling. So yeah, uh, that would be Sir's new new carrier. <laughs> So I'm figuring I'm going to put it on the floor somewhere so he can have a sniff and kind of get used to it. So, I don't know, where, where, where would be the best place to put it? Perhaps I'll put it there. Yeah, 
I'll put it there. I'll leave the door open and he can investigate and sniff. And yeah, he's already been looking at it and thinking, oh, hell no, mummy, you're not taking me in that thing. Isn't that right, Smokey? Yeah. Look, what's that? <laughs> what's that? Go, Smokes. Hey. What's this? It's new. Come and have a look. He's like, bugger you, Mum, I'm not coming anywhere near that thing. I've come home from the shops. And obviously, before I left, the boiler was doing that weird buzzing thing. Um, I've come home, and it's not doing it. It's just, you know, working as it should. Um, I've gone in, and I've turned down the uh, temperature dial for the hot water, um, which is what my property manager suggested so we will see what happens over the next couple of days mm -hmm. <sighs> excuse me um smokey's um looked at the new cat carrier with a bit of uh, trepidation he's like yeah he knows what that is he hasn't seen one for a while but he knows what that is so uh, i'm gonna see if i can get him booked in now um i'm not entirely sure what day it's gonna be but uh yeah um i may I may take him for a short walk just to uh, acclimatise him to it again because he hasn't been in a cat carrier for a really long time. I think, when was the last time I put him in one? Gosh. Oh, that was a long time ago. Long, long time ago. Yeah, quite a few years actually because <laughs> that was when I had to get rid of the other ones. So, yeah, I may, I may take him for a little walkies, you know. Uh, just around the block. I say around the block, it's like a bloody rabbit's warren round here. There's alleyways everywhere. I've got Smokey uh, booked in for tomorrow morning. So, um, as those who know me best will be aware of, I'm not very good when it comes to morning time stuff. So, yeah, it's ten past nine in the morning. So I'm going to have to uh, really get my backside in gear and, uh, yeah, um, get to bed early, get up early. Um, I mean, it, it, the receptionist agreed with me, you know, the sooner, the sooner I get him looked at, um, the less expensive the treatment's going to be. So uh, apparently it's going to be a lady vet tomorrow, um, as opposed to, um, the male vet that I saw last year when I had to take Angel in. Um, apparently he owns the practice. So, but yeah. Mr. Monkey Chops is going to get seen and hopefully sorted. Hello, my bobby. Hello, my bobby. I'm gonna go for a wee walk. Oh, God. Oh, you're an heavy lump. You're an heavy lump. You know that. Just can't go for a wee walk. Yes, Mr. Smokey. And? What, Bubby? What? <laughs> I know, darling. I know. My boy. I know. See, we went for our little walk, didn't we, darling? Just to get you accustomed to the box again. Yeah. See you tomorrow, yes, tomorrow, tomorrow we're going to go up to the vets, aren't we? We're going to go on a bus tomorrow, but you're not much looking forward to that, are you, Bubba? Hmm? I bet you're not much looking forward to that, are you, Bubba? Oh, didn't we, sweet? Didn't we, Bub? 
he dove out of there quicker than anything. I mean, yeah, he really, and he wouldn't sit still either. He kept fidgeting. So, yeah, and uh, I've got a war wound for my troubles. He cut me. You see, a little monkey cut me as I was trying to get him off the top of the sofa. much everything for today uh yeah tomorrow i've got to get up super super early because it's 10 past nine in the morning for the appointment ah but yeah um hopefully uh all's gonna go well and hopefully the bill won't come out too much um because i've got limited funds but uh yeah um there is a very strong chance that Smokey may end up with the lampshade, which he won't really like. <laughs> and obviously I'd have to keep a very close eye on him because he's a sneaky little monkey and he can actually pull stuff like that off. So, yeah. Basically, all done for this evening. Wasn't all that much interesting today. Yeah, it happens most days. That's kind of what it's like. I'll catch everybody later. Bye.